Cause that rattle can't hit different this is What's up you guys welcome back to the channel all you new subscribers I'm Barbas as you guys can see we've done a lot of sanding and we're down to the final product right here um, we did 400 and then we did 600 dry and we did dry because you guys can see all the little bare metal that's showing through it's mostly all the edging all over and I went ahead and I taped everything off right now I'm gonna wipe everything down with mineral spirits and after it dries we are gonna lay some primer sealer which is what I have right here primer sealer is good for laying a final coat that's a nice and even coat also the primer sealer bonds the base coats so it makes your base coat stick a little bit better to whatever it is that you're painting so we're gonna go ahead lay the primer it says to wait four hours before i do any sanding i was thinking after i lay that primer usually you don't sand but you can if you want to um i was thinking after i laid that sealer the primer sealer to go ahead and hit everything with 600 but when i was at the store i seen this one it's a scuffing pad that's 800 and according to this one it's used for light scuffing before color coats so with that being said i think that's what i'm going to go ahead and use so right now i'm going to get everything cleaned lay the primer sealer and wait it out a few hours two coats are down I still have the mask on because it smells in here but two coats are down we're gonna let this dry for about four hours and then we're gonna come back and we are gonna wet sand with that 800 grit it's like a sponge that's kind of what it is it's been many hours later and this is completely dry. You guys seen that I covered the car over there. I got this car mostly all the way covered up. I got this whole area on the floor covered up. I got my soapy water down there and I got this sponge open and here it is I've never sanded up this high before laying some paint I always stop around 380 or 400 um, I never go more than that because I'm scared that the paint isn't gonna stick but it's recommended that for metallics when you're spraying a metallic that you go up pretty high maybe a thousand or so so I'm just gonna go ahead, get this wet, and you start going over everything real quick. everything with that 800 sponge and I went ahead and I washed everything really good 
And you guys could see that it looks very shiny. I'm hoping that once I lay my paint down, that it's gonna end up like that. But it looks like everything is prepped very nicely. It looks very nice. And we are officially ready for paint. I will catch you guys on my next video. Till then, peace out. Stay safe. Catch you guys later.